hyperinflation without a cola? You say, what's Coca-Cola have to do with this? Uh, well, that's not what I mean by cola. Cola means cost of living adjustment. You're here at my website, kingjamesvideoministries.com or kjvm.org. Either uh, thing will take you to the website. But I want to show a couple different articles in here and show you what I'm talking about. There's no question that Americans are facing inflationary problems. But I would say if you go back to the creation of the Federal Reserve, 1913, I think it was, um, from then till now, we're definitely seeing a hyperinflation. It's been a slow, kind of long, protracted hyperinflation where the cost of everything goes up because the value of the dollar comes down. Again, understand that. Uh, if you had an ounce of gold back then, it would buy the same amount of goods that an ounce of gold buys today. Because you can only there's only so much gold, and so you can't really create it out of thin air like you can do with the paper money that the Federal Reserve created. Again, you need to look into some of that stuff to understand what's going on. But here's an article from Kiplinger. Um, single, this is how much you have to earn to live comfortably. In New York, a single person needs to earn $138,570, while in Cleveland, Ohio, an individual can earn $81,786 and live comfortably according to a smart asset survey. Okay, it goes down through here, and it says, um, the rising cost of living, zoom in here a little bit so you can see this better, the rising cost of living continues to take a bite out of Americans' budgets from groceries and utilities to transportation and housing. Earning enough income to live comfortably, comfortably as a single person in the U.S. is more difficult in these 25 cities, U.S. cities, according to a recent smart asset report. In fact, to live comfortably in 99 of the largest U.S. metro areas, you'll need a median income of $93,933. In New York, the amount is $138,570. Right? And then if you go down to a, a uh, family, it says... Uh, they're about New York City. An individual needs 96500 on average to live comfortably in a major U.S. city. That figure is even higher for families who need to earn an average and combined income of about $235,000 to support two adults and two children. And it goes and talks about different cities and things. Um, that's insanity. Uh, and again, it's the higher cost of living. No, it's the lower value of the dollar. Understand that. Things are not more expensive now, per se. It's that the dollar buys less. So you need more dollars to buy the same items that you would have bought 100 years ago or the, to live the way you would have lived back then. Um, very interesting. And just to show you again here, 96500 on average is what most people would need to live comfortably, a comfortable life and things, not falling behind. Here we have usdebtclock.org, and uh, let me zoom in here on this, down in here, get it over this way. Um, now look at this, okay? Median income now, $39,518. Median income in the year 2000, 24 years ago, $31,801. Huh. See, we know that the cost of everything is going up, or rather the value of the money is coming down, but what's going on with the income thing there? See, the cost of living adjustment should be there to make people earn more money. See the scam here? Look at this. Median new home now is $413,698. Median new home in the year 2000, $164,015. Huh? Look, look at this. Look at the income here and the cost of a home here and the cost of a car in the year 2000. 24 years later, this has barely changed at all. Just not even $8,000 more that people are making on average. And yet the cost of home ownership has more than doubled. Same thing with a car. Huh? And what did it say back here in that article? The average individual needs to make $96,500 to live comfortably in major U.S. cities. See, if you study the whole thing of the Weimar Republic, one of the hyperinflationary things that happened there, you see these pictures, you know, all these stacks of the, you know, the marks, they're the Deutsche Marks, 
And here you have children playing with stacks of cash. You know, they're stacking them up like toys. And um, they're down. And here you have these uh, women, you know, carrying ba baskets of currency. And the infamous picture of a guy with a wheelbarrow of Deutsche Marks. There's a woman starting her uh, a fire, heat, using Deutsche Marks for heat. Okay, that's what you think of when you think of hyperinflation. In other words, the currency is devalued, so you're given more of it to have to buy your needs. But yet, I'm showing you right here on the U.S. National, uh, the U.S. Debt Clock .org, the income has not changed much in 20, 24 years. The median income. And yet, the cost of everything you know, is going up, or say it as the dollar is being devalued. See the scam we're being put under here in America? And another one here would be Zimbabwe, the currency there, a $100 trillion bill. You know? And here down, down here's an article. I saw this. Um, it says in Zimbabwe, one US dollar now buys 25 million of the Zimbabwe currency. Isn't that interesting? Back here. Yeah. One US dollar now buys 25 million of the Zimbabwe currency. So, um, just wanted to show that and just wanted to do a quick video on this whole thing just to show you that we are being scammed, majorly scammed here. And that's why the people, people should be waking up to this and realizing that you need to turn to Jesus Christ. Um, because we had strength in the past when there were a lot more people that believed in the King James Bible that this nation was founded upon. Um, the people, not the government, I'm saying, the people believed the King James Bible is God's word. Uh, people believed in God. And now what we're, we're seeing with the increase in atheism and the increase in secularism and all kinds of other you know, weird, aberrant beliefs, systems, and things, we're seeing more trouble and more... Um, tyranny, to say it that way. People need to turn back to God because there's no way you can elect this. You know, we'll just elect the right people and they'll just come in and they'll fix all this stuff. I mean, you go over here to the you know, the uh, national debt, U.S. national debt, 34 plus trillion dollars and increasing all the time, just going up and up and up. These people just won't stop spending. But U.S. total debt is 100 trillion dollars. I mean, it's insanity. America's in very serious trouble right now. Again, other countries in the past, they would have hyperinflation and the people would have cost of living adjustment. It would be, they'd be brought up to that level. Um, there and here. Right? But yet here in America, um, we're not seeing that. We're seeing these shocking numbers right here. Income is not changing that much, but yet the cost of living is going way up. And this number right here, living in poverty, is going to continue to go up as well. Um, God's judging this nation. And when God judges a nation, you have to say, okay, I'm now going to turn towards the Lord and say, God, I need your help. Because man isn't going to help me. Oh, we'll get Trump in there and he'll fix up things. No, he won't. We'll keep Biden in and he'll fix up things. We'll get somebody else in and they'll fix up things. They're not going to fix it up. Because the bankers want to take everything from you. That's the whole purpose of the Federal Reserve, was to steal the assets of the American people. Um, and you're seeing it right here. I'm just proving it to you with mathematical science. Um, very serious issue here. I'll uh, be doing some more stuff on this. But um, <laughs> what can I say? Um, that is going to be it. See you in upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching.